For many of the jobs that you do, you might have a fixed price that you will charge your client. And uh, it's possible to add this in Farmer's Wife as well. We call this price agreements. To be able to do price agreements, you need to be in a view that is the view that you will send to the invoice creator, the invoice view. You go to the I menu, and then you say, show list of price agreements. Then in the bottom of the page or the window, this little window will open up. And then you can create your fixed price. I click new. I can give my price agreement a name. And let's say now that we have a price agreement for the sound work. And that one is about just 1,000 euro. And then you can give it a color there. And you can add a note if you like to, and you click OK. And now it comes up here, and we will later apply it. We will create one more fixed price agreement for the other bookings. So you click New. And we will call this the grade VFX uh, flame. And on that one, our fixed price agreement is 20,000. And we will also give this a color, something like that. So now we have our total price agreements down here. Now we need to connect them, associate them with the bookings so that when we actually create our invoice, these are the rates that will go into the invoice. So if we start with the sound, we go here, click there, and say that it should be part of our price agreement called sound. I click there, so it's per line. Click there and say part of sound. And also for this voice recording, we will include it there. Then we will need to add this other one, uh, which is here, the next one. Here again, I'm doing all of this because you will remember better if I do all of them. So it's part of the grade, everything there. So what happens when we do this? It evens out the rates. It's based on the rate that you have, and then it changes the rate according to what we put here as the maximum, 20,000. So you see how it adjusts and puts a discount as well. So now we have changed these bookings, but this project administration, we still charge the full price for. So now we get our total, which is different from when we were before the price agreements. So here's now the price, and this is the total. This is what now will go to the invoice when we will create our invoice.